how's it going? All right, I've had my Mac Mini 2018. It's coming up to a year now and it's time to upgrade the RAM. So I'm going from the stock eight gigabytes of RAM that I got with it. I got the i5 model with eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. You can check out that video, my initial video of performance testing, the Mac Mini 2018. Anyways, I'm gonna be going up from eight gigabytes to 32 gigabytes. Apple doesn't want you to upgrade it. They kind of do, but if you go to their site with the Mac Mini and you, you click on it, it says to contact Apple to get support. So eight gigabytes, it runs fine, it's okay. So I've spent $171 Canadian plus tax, it comes out to 194 for 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. I have links to that before. I, I just bought it on Amazon. If you wanna actually buy it from there, I have an affiliate link, helps out my channel and doesn't cost you anything extra. The price that Apple wants you to pay to upgrade to 32 gigabytes RAM is pretty much insane. That's all I can say is, I mean, there's no value in doing that. So this is not a joke. The price is, and I'll show it on screen, it's $720 Canadian plus our tax. You're looking at $813.60 and I spent $194. So we're looking at a huge savings, just over 600 something and change. I'm really, really, really trying to figure out how they charge $720 that memory upgrade and that's just one of them if I wanted to go from just for a comparison 8 gigs is the stock that's the standard that's what I got you go up to 16 you're adding $240 kind of uh, I'm, I'm not even paying that for the parts for this one to go to 32 jump up to 32 gigs you're looking at $720 if you want to max it out on 64 gigs you're spending $1,200 the whole Mac mini costs $1,399 so this video, I know there are other tutorial videos. I'm actually using one. There's a really good one that shows exactly how to do it. I thought I would show an average Joe like me trying to do this because this isn't something that everybody wants to try. I think it's worth the effort to save that much money. Okay, so let's go into it and do it. All right, here's exactly what I'm using in the video. I've got 32 gigabytes of DDR4 2666 megahertz sodium these are crucial that's the brand name this is from Amazon I have links for that I've got a t5 torque screwdriver I've got a t10 torque screwdriver tweezers a spudger which is basically just like a little plastic edge that lets you grab onto things and this one, I'm going to make note of and mention that this is super important that you get this right. This is a T6 Torx security screwdriver. So I think they're, they're labeled as T6R or TR6. I can't remember exactly. So it's not a T6, which I also have. And the difference is very minor, but very serious. Basically, they look the same. They've got the same pattern. The difference is the security screwdriver has a little indentation in the tip. That's very important. Um, so I tried using this one initially and I started to strip, uh, I started to strip some of the screws. So look that up and realize I was using the wrong one. So make sure you have the right one. Very important. So let's get ahead. Let's get ahead. Let's get going here. First step, flip it over and this part's pretty simple. Take your spudger, basically you pry off the lid, comes off very quickly. So this is the first step that I started to screw up on. You've got six Torx screws, security screws, and I've just made a little diagram here. I'm gonna mark them and put them in the spot that they are, just so I don't forget later. And if I have stripped some of them and I have trouble with it, I've got a couple of tricks that I'm gonna try if the stripping is too bad. So far, so good. I tried this one initially and I was having all kinds of trouble. It's amazing how one tiny little thing can make such a difference. I thought my screws were screwed, stripped. I thought I was gonna be using a special uh, trick to get them out. Before I go ahead, there is one trick. Apparently if these are stripped, you can take a piece of tin foil, aluminum tin foil, stick it over the screw and that might fill in the uh, stripped portions. So. Okay, we've got the six screws off. Next step, you gotta be careful. Okay, so the next 
step is we're going to turn it around so it's facing me. Okay, so we're going to take the edge up here. We're just going to slide it over just a little bit because there's an antenna cable. It should just be right underneath here. And there it is. Can't see it. Let's zoom in. Under here, there's another T6 Torx screw. And then we're going to remove that first. Security screw. Got that out. And the antenna pops right off. Take that out, get a little close up on it. You can see that fastens to the main board and then that's where the screw came out of. Now we've got four screws connecting the fan that we've got to take off. Go to the other angle here. These are also T6 security screws. Keep a little reference here. Man. All right, the next step is to lift up the fan and carefully not pull on the cable underneath. And we want to lift that up. And there we go. Just comes off from behind like that. Okay, two more cables to take off. This is the main power cable. Like that. Now there's a delicate cable right here. There we go. And that's the LED cable. Next, two T10 torque screws. Gotta take those off. Now, from all the videos I've watched, apparently the next step is the most nerve-wracking. All right, here we go. Turning it around. See a little bit of dust. And there we are. Now, this is the uh, the ram right here. And there's four T5 torque screws that we've got to take off. All right, here we go. Here's my ram sticks. There we go. And just kind of pop out four gigs, four gigs. I'm going to replace with the two 16 gig sticks. A lot of time here. And if you've never worked with ram sticks before, they can only fit in one way. They make, the sl they make a little groove in it, so you always have to get it in the right way, unless you force it in and break it. But Let's push them back down, slide it in. There we go. So there's like rubber clips with some metal underneath, and they're grabbing it there. Now, at this point, we're just going in reverse. So everything we've done, we've got to Get it back in place. So, T5 screws back in. It's nice when these are magnetic. All right, step one. I'm just gonna store these memory sticks away. It came in an Apple Mac, so they've gotta be worth at least $1,000. Okay, we gotta slide it back in now. One thing to note here, you gotta make sure that the little LED clip on the bottom here is out of the way so you can slide it all back in. Nice 
nice and snug. The build quality is impressive for sure. All right, we're putting back in two T10 torque screws that hold the main board to the case. One. Those two screws were in pretty tight. Of all the screws, those are probably the tightest. All right, now I can put in the LED cable and the power cable. It's just one of those cables that kind of just gets pushed in, sits on top and gets slid in. All right, power. Good, snug fit, it's in. Fan goes in next, and then we're gonna screw it back in. There we go. Another one that just sits on top. Okay, we got the four T6 screws. Go into this one. There we are. Okay, so now we're putting the antenna back on. You'll hear it click in and do the T6 security screw. in all right now we're putting in putting back the torque t6 security torque screws that i thought i had stripped but i was actually okay Take the plate, and it's gonna fit on only one way. It's basically just gonna pop on. And there we go. And now we're gonna go power it on and make sure we see the memory. I think that's worth $600 of work. Let's go. So there you go, we've added 32 gigs. Well, no, we didn't add 32 gigs. We replaced the eight gig with 32 gigs. And I'm very excited to go and try this out now and see how it performs and how it compares. The performance comparison is gonna be something sort of relative to what I remember. It won't be an exact documented performance, like a test performance like I've done with the, the video card, the external GPU. I did one of those videos, you can check that out. Um, it's more of a, you know, I'll be able to do more stuff and have more things open. I'm also using a 4K monitor now, which I'm sure doesn't hurt to have more memory. Never hurts to have more memory. If you like this video, subscribe, click the like, turn on notifications, check out my previous Mac mini videos. I'll have them. If you take a look at the end. They should be popping up. Maybe I'm talking right now and this is the end and they're showing up now. Probably not. Uh, yeah, check, check out my other videos. I have another channel called Lano 27 Music that I did some Mac mini videos on. Go and check those out as well. That's gonna be it for this video. So I hope this was useful. Give me some feedback below. Let me know what you think about this. And if you have any questions, I'm always able to answer the comments and I'm happy to give some replies to anybody that has any feedback or any comments about anything. So that's gonna be it for today. I'm Landon, take care.